Welcome back. I hope everybody had a fabulous summer. Summer is such an amazing season. I love the sunshine, getting outside, soaking up that vitamin D, spending time with family and friends. Um, it's always a bit sad when it comes to an end. Uh, but now it is time to get back to your routine and I've got eight tips to help you do just that. Tip number one for your health and wellness, I'm asking you to set yourself one goal for this fall. Just one goal. Don't get too overwhelmed by trying to change the world. Just pick one goal. Uh, maybe that is losing five pounds before Christmas time. Maybe it's cutting the junk out of your diet. Make it specific and give it a time frame. One goal. Then step number two to go along with that is to put some specific action steps to actually make this happen. How are you gonna make this happen? It's not enough to just say, I wanna lose five pounds. You have to figure out how you're going to do that. So perhaps um, you're gonna drink eight to 10 glasses of water every day. That is an easy one that you can implement right away. It doesn't cost you any money. Perhaps you're going to aim to consume 30 grams of protein three times daily, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if you need help with that or ideas, don't hesitate to reach out and come and see me. I can help you with your meal planning and menu planning to hit your protein goals or macro goals or calorie goals. Step number three could be 7,500 plus steps per day. We all know we should be walking and moving more. Um, it's so important, vitally important for your overall health. So that's another great action step that you can implement right away. It doesn't cost you anything, 7,500 steps per day. Um, another one could be adding in th two to three strength training workouts per week because we know when we build muscle, A, your body changes shape, but B, your metabolism goes up. Muscle is metabolically active. It burns more calories every day, no matter what you're doing. So strength training becomes vitally important, especially as we age and we want to continue to be able to do the things that you want to do um, into your retirement um, easily. So those are some specific action steps. Um, so first set yourself one goal with a specific time frame, um, and then second, put some action steps to that goal so that it will actually happen. Step number three, plan, plan your week. I want you to schedule your workouts in, schedule your walks in just as you would any other appointment because you are important and you are worth it and your health is worth it. Um, as well, you could do some meal planning and on a Sunday or on a weekend, plan out your meals for the week. What are you going to be eating for dinner each night? Make a corresponding grocery list and then go shop for those items so that you will be more likely to succeed with your healthy eating plan because you're not gonna come home one night and think, oh my gosh, what am I gonna have for dinner? There's nothing in the house. And then you go get takeout. It's planned out at the beginning of the week. So plan your meals, plan your workouts. Very important for success. Failing to plan is planning to fail. If you've heard that quote before, a very famous quote. Um, another key to success, number four, is to batch cook on the weekend. This can be so helpful for your success. So on Saturday or Sunday, maybe you cook up four chicken breasts for the week that you can easily chop and put into a salad for a quick lunch. Maybe you hard cook six eggs. Two hard cooked eggs can make an excellent high protein snack throughout the week and it takes time to hard cook some eggs so you don't want to be doing that on the fly. Um, so if you cook them ahead of time you'll be more likely to succeed or perhaps a batch of my um, egg muffin bites. These are delicious. If you do not follow me on Instagram you should, definitely should. I post a healthy recipe every week but we want high protein snacks on hand. So let's plan for that on the weekends and batch cook on the weekends. Maybe you wash and chop your veggies and have them in Tupperware so you have an easy, healthy grab and go snacks and these can easily be put into your kids' lunches as well. Um, tip number five, consider cutting alcohol for the month of September. I am not here to judge, but I do know in the summer that often there can be a few additional 
alcoholic beverages at barbecues and parties and and that's all fun but alcohol is actually a toxin to your body and when we consume alcohol all other bodily processes stop so your body will not burn fat the body will not repair itself all of your body's resources go into metabolizing the alcohol and getting it out of your body because it's a toxin so consider taking one month where you will not be drinking alcohol and just notice the difference in how you feel and it's just so great for your overall health but again not for me to judge um, about alcohol tip number six get the junk out of your house purge it throw it out in the garbage get rid of the chips get rid of the cookies um, you can't eat it if it's not there. Instead, again, stock your fridge with those healthy fruits and vegetables. And if you cut the junk out, like ripping off a Band-Aid, within three days, I promise you, you will not be missing it anymore. And uh, your palate changes. And when you have a piece of pineapple, it just tastes absolutely incredible. But I do find it's hard to wean sugar and junk slowly. I think you're better to rip the band-aid off, chuck it, get it out of your house. It's gonna be hard for a few days, but you get over it pretty darn quick and then you don't miss it anymore. So get the junk out of your house. You can't eat it if it's not there. Tip number seven, we need more movement in our life. Move your body every single day and we wanna work our way up to 7,500 plus steps per day. We should all be moving more. That's about 20 to 30 minutes of walking five times per week. So especially if you take a walk after dinner, that actually helps with blood sugar regulation. It helps bring your blood sugar down after a large meal by taking a 20 minute walk after dinner. Um, so let's add in some more movement. Or if you are at a, a job that requires you to sit all day, every hour make it a point of getting up and walking for three to five minutes just to move your body and get a few additional steps in and burn a few additional calories um, and then my final tip for helping you to get back on track is number eight consider just implementing one vacation meal per week so obviously the more indulgent meals you have um, that can lead to greater weight gain over time. So in the summer, if you're having two or three nights a week where you might be having a drink or a dessert or a special meal with at a restaurant or with friends, consider cutting that down to only one time per week um, this September because um, your body can handle that and it won't affect your weight if you just consume one indulgent meal per week. The problem lies when it becomes more frequent and becomes a bit of a bad habit. So treats are okay in moderation, but just try and consider one vacation meal per week and it should not be a free for all on the weekends. Um, so those are my tips to help you get back on track this September and I f hope you found them helpful. Please share this video with a friend who might find this information helpful. Give it a like because that helps our channel to grow and help and reach more people. And of course, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our practitioner content because we work hard to help you become the healthiest version of yourself. If you wish further information from me or if you would like to work with me one-on-one -on -one to reach your nutrition and health goals, I hold office hours at the Caledon East Family Chiropractic Clinic every Thursday from 2 till 6 p.m. I offer a free 10-minute consultation so we can sit down and chit-chat and meet one another and determine if we're a good fit to work together. So don't hesitate to reach out and I will look forward to next month's health tip. Have a beautiful day.